Good morning, Deify here, and welcome back to The Sims 2, The Homely Pritacy, where, uh, Lily Do, uh, what are, are you, did we invite you over? Um, I, I mean, maybe, you seem to be here, uh, pretty well. Uh, we finally have our little, um, <clears throat> studio apartment, we'll say, to, um, you know, be very kind about, uh, what all we have. It's Friday, so we're three days away from being able to uh, get married and uh, do all that fun, enjoyable stuff and whatnot. Uh, actually start, you know, the challenge, but we're not really at a point where um, we can do that too well because we don't have money. Like, like we, we need charisma, we need mechanical. Oh, don't kick him out of his own apartment. That's just rude. Alright, well, we'll definitely need tomorrow's paycheck to try and get all this stuff together. Because uh, uh, with $66, I really don't think there's very much we can do. Let's see, what can you do to make money in this game? Uh, you can stop catching butterflies and ruining my front yard, okay? That would be very swell. Let's see. Yeah, Lily, just, you know, get out of here. Just... Did we make friends with you? I don't really... Yeah, it doesn't really look like it. Did alright. Did alright, I guess. It's still Michelle C that we're going after. Say, say, I don't know. Um, uh, but yeah, we, he is a romance sim, so someone in the comments um, said that we should like marry and divorce a lot of girls and have a lot of kids with various different ones. I'm like, oh, I am all behind that. Let's do exactly that. Um, there have been a couple updates, I guess. I didn't realize this game was still getting updated, but um, I'm not really certain if... Um, why don't you go do the crossword? If uh, my mods still work, so I'm not too sure and I'm, I'm just so lazy to go and re-download them. I have like three. So it wouldn't even be that difficult. But it's a lot more difficult than I really want it to be. You know, just like that uh, feeling of eternal laziness and all that. Hey, that's pretty good. You got some cleaning skill points. I'm very proud of you. Um, what exactly are you looking at? Do you not have a roof? Do you? You don't have a roof. Oh, pardon me. I guess that's my bad. Auto roof. That... Auto roof this. There we go. Now you won't die. Uh, exactly what we needed. Okay. My bad for leaving you without a roof. Yeah, stop gazing within your own house. It's uh, a little sad, I gotta say. But I'll leave you to do whatever you feel like you need to do. Let's see. You work until 8 p.m. We just get to watch all the people walk by, like Christy, Nada, oh dear. Uh, Curtis let some of his co-workers borrow the coffee shop's sound equipment for their rock concert at a local club. Unfortunately, they blew out one of the more expensive amplifiers and don't have the money to replace it. The amplifier is Curtis's responsibility and there are only a few options. He could simply replace the amp on his own or put it in storage and hope nobody notices. I guess you gotta buy the new amp. Uh, Curtis knows he messed up by letting the others borrow the amplifier, so he heads to the local music store and buys an amp to replace the broken one. Things get a little complicated when the coffee shop owner pulls up behind Curtis in line. She knows Curtis isn't paid enough to afford an amp for himself. Yeah, gee, whose problem is that? And she demands an explanation. Curtis comes clean, and his boss, impressed with his honesty, decides to cover the cost of the amp and invites Curtis to apply his honesty as a summer camp music teacher. Curtis is promoted. No way. How great is that? We didn't even need the skill points! Sweet. Okay. So let's see. We have a thousand bucks now. So, what are we gonna do? We are going to get a bathroom. The worst bathroom we can manage. Do I actually need it to be a little bit bigger? I hope not. But maybe? Can I put, I can put the shower there? And the toilet there. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Okay. And then, so, so, uh, what do we need for his job? We, we need nothing in there. Uh, here? No. Uh, skilling. Duh, right, right. It's not in lounge stuff. Okay, so that's 190. Oh, that's 350. 
Are you kidding me? That right there is like all the money we have. Okay, excuse me, please don't rotate it when I don't want you to. Oh, I know what we can do. I know what we can do. <clears throat> Go study mechanical. I'm not sure if you're technically allowed to do this, but ugh, who cares, right? Um, and a mirror. We'll just get the cheapo one. Should probably go like, uh... <laughs> oh, come on, come on, come on. Right across from the toilet. Perfect, exactly what we need. Why don't you stop studying mechanical and go answer the phone, okay? Who are we talking to? Never mind, I don't care for you to answer the phone right there. It's just a waste of your time. What's not a waste of your time is working. Who stole my newspaper? Someone's gonna die! <sighs> oh well. Yeah, what's not gonna hurt you is uh, working to maintain uh, your career capabilities. Hello, Kendra McCarthy. Are you pretty? Are you pretty? Yeah, you're you're pretty. We could definitely keep you around. Let's do that. Let's chat. We'll just get to know you a little bit. Um, it's not going so well, if I had to say so. That's a little bit of a darn shame right there. Okay, well, we're doing all right. Uh, okay, good. We can flirt with you. You are an adult. I was a little worried that you might be, like, a teenager. Because you kind of look a little small. Unless... Oh no, you definitely are a teenager, aren't you? I'm like... Pretty certain you're a teenager. Let's see. So maybe that means my mods are working. I don't think I... I didn't think I had the uh, teen-adult relationship on. Oh, I must have. I must have from the last Legacy. I'm sure I had some sim who I needed to make sure that... Uh, they didn't lose their relationship when they grew up or something like that, because uh, she definitely looks a lot smaller than uh, Curtis here, if I had to say. Okay, you good? You good with eating? Perfect. Don't worry, next promotion will get you a kitchen, probably, and everything will be just, just peachy. You'll be able to cook food. We need another friend? Are you kidding? How many friends do I need? Oh my gosh. That's just too many. We have today off, though, because apparently summer camp doesn't run on weekends. Everyone knows that. Oh, I'm glad we do, because he would need to wake up real early. Well, I guess we might as well start getting you on that schedule. Go take a shower, and then go call a sim. We will call Lily, because you want to make friends with her. Did you seriously become friends with Kendra? Sweet. There's Lily. Uh, just talk. Please, just talk to me. I'm so lonely. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. You're actually pretty close with Callista as well, so we can uh, probably pull that uh, out as well. 47, 52. Well, it was close. Oh, oh, go answer the phone. It could be a best friend. It's this guy. I don't remember who this guy is. Clarence Philippine. I mean, I might as well talk with him because got to make friends somehow. Uh, no, you don't need to study anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're fine. Go practice painting. I wish it was still fall. That would be real swell, because we'd get the boost on the skilling. But, alas, that's not how it's going to work out. Lily, Lily do. how are you? Let's go greet you. Entertain you with a joke. Give you a friendly hug, perchance. Welcome to my humble abode. Don't mind us, we're just drinking our meal here. I don't really want you playing Kicky Bag or Kicky Sack or whatever they call it in this. It's not Hacky Sack like it should be. Uh, I'm going to assume that we didn't put a roof over there. Do I seriously need to do an auto roof every time I build? It's a little, a little frustrating. Kendra McCarthy's no longer a family friend, but we just met her. She definitely should be. Oh, because Lily's here. I was like, why can't I call someone? We we knew one extra person before this. Okay, 65 should get us up quite well. And then, okay, you could have finished using the restroom. You know, I'm not a tyrant. I just want you to do better things with your life, etc., etc. Good job eating those chips. I'm so very proud of you. 
Oh, Lindsay Louie, how are you? How are you? Oh, you're pretty good, I see. You've kind of got sad eyes. Hey, hey, hey. Stop showering. It's fine. Lindsay Louie is here. And that's all you need. Oh, okay, we just... Just straight up just hug her. I'm impressed. Sims normally hate that. But good for you, Curtis. You're pretty much the bomb diggity at talking with people now. Hey, Lily, calm down. We're already friends with you. We don't need this. Uh, no, it's not bedtime. It's not bedtime. We're going to try and make friends with her. Um, it would be nice to have one more friend before going to work tomorrow. If I could get to five, everything would be just splendid. Please, just talk with me. I just just want to chat and be friends. We're so close. There we go. Okay, now go to bed, because you're dying. That's quite all right. I understand the whole dying of tiredness thing. It's pretty much my specialty. We just got to make sure that you're up and ready for action at like 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Which you probably won't be. Probably just going to be sending you to work just absolutely tired i suppose but you know yeah you gotta you gotta step up and be an adult sometimes you know what i mean you know what i mean i think you know what i mean no don't make many have snack chips have snack chips just have chips chips are all you need in life to be happy really it's a balanced breakfast uh it's got your uh potatoes your uh, uh it's all you need Okay, great. So when do you get back? 3 p.m. So you're pretty much out of school. Thankfully, summer camp still runs in the winter. I was, you know, a little worried about that, but we're quite all right, I gotta say. So nothing too bad happening over there. Uh, we'll try and get your charisma up. But at this point, we can now uh, marry someone and move them in. Oh, isn't that exciting? Maybe we would want one more promotion so that we can get you a bedroom that can sustain um, another person. You know, something like that. Pretty much just get you a double bed. Go practice your speech. Gotta make sure that you're ready to give the speech to those little kids who don't think studying music's very important. And apparently Lindsay Louie hates us now. You know what? No, 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 no. That's not gonna happen, okay? Lindsay, come here. Come here. We're gonna talk. Just you and me, we're going to talk, okay? Uh, Clarence and then Jess are our, uh, next closest. So we'll just, I guess we'll keep in touch with Clarence. Oh, well, I mean, there's Callista also. I didn't realize she wasn't a friend. I am offended. I'm unfriended. Uh, just, you know, get your skill point. It'll be great. We'll get you a promotion tomorrow. You can go to bed. Everything will be fantastic. I hate this. It's snowing. It's raining. Um, uh, action that they do. It's like, yeah, it is. Okay, that's not that exciting. It was raining today. Granted, I'm sure my girlfriend and I were both like, oh, it's raining. Like several times. So, you know, maybe Sims are more like humans than I give them credit for. But don't like the things I tell them to do to be interrupted by the things they think they want to do when they really don't know anything about themselves. Okay, go have a snack, chips, and then go read your book, okay? Gotta get your fun up. Got what's, what was that? Why is it just slowing down? Maybe get your comfort up as well. It doesn't look like, I guess you just decided you really didn't feel like being on the bed. Go relax. I think daydreaming is actually uh, better for fun and comfort, so we'll do that. Who's calling me? Hello? No. I don't want your magazine. It's gross, okay? <sighs> Guess they'll never understand. Oh, that's pretty far away. I don't know if we're going to make that promotion. Which would be a darn shame. But really not the worst thing in the world, I suppose. We have bills now. Ugh, I forgot about those also. 
Definitely going to need to pay those um, so that they don't uh, run amok and come back to bite us with the Repo Man. Christy Toyonaga. Yeah, we didn't get it. We didn't get it. Sanjay Ramaswamy. Uh, good, you're not attracted to him. Okay. He just comes home. He's like, yeah, I invited my co-worker over because I thought I was attracted to them. But on the car ride over, I realized I'm not. Who's this? Lindsay? We just talked to you yesterday. We just talked yesterday. That's one thing I really don't like about the relationships in this game is that it's not based on when you actually talk to them. It's based around your relationship. It's like, no. You see, it has not been a while. We have not fallen out of touch. You are just going crazy over one day. April Hutchins. You look kind of like uh, another girl can't think of which girl, but uh, we'll, we'll admire you. We'll admire how much you look like someone else. Hopefully you won't hate that too much. Uh, wow, it looks like she actually accepted it. I'm impressed. You did well. Uh, go entertain her with a joke. I'm sure she loves uh, jokes. Who doesn't love jokes, really? Okay, you're just going to bed? You're just going to give up on her that quickly? That's fine. We've got a friend for life now. It'll be fantastic. Um, we should probably invite Michelle over soon. I mean, I said I wanted the promotion, and I still kind of feel that way. So, it'll it'll definitely be tomorrow. So maybe, maybe our goal for this episode can be marry Michelle. Maybe get her pregnant or something. I mean, it can't be that hard, right? It's The Sims. You just click and tell them to woohoo, and then everyone's, everyone's fine and dandy. You want to be best friends with Lindsay. Well, how close are you? You're pretty gosh darn far away. How about you calm down? Okay. Friendship, or <laughs> best friendship can wait, all right? Yeah, get your comfort up. That's the important part right there. I'll go use the restroom. Have a snack. Maybe I should have spoiled it. I'll spoil him. You may have cookies today. Okay, I know. This is an exciting time that does not come along very often. Okay, you're in a fantastic mood. So go and get a promotion or else I'll be very mad. There's no way that can fail us. It's gotta happen. Just gotta wait till 3 p.m. and everything will be fantastic. If I can get uh, um, a separate bedroom. Even just a small room. Oh. One of the camp sessions is drawing to a close, which means it's time for the traditional camper music showcase performance for the parents. Most of the program is filled up, but there's still one more hole in the schedule that needs to be plugged with something. Curtis really likes the campfire classic, Don't Step on My S'more, but the camp director is dropping not-so-subtle hints that she would like to hear something a bit more contemporary, like bunks are for skunks. Hmm. I mean, you gotta suck up to the boss. Let's go bunks are for skunks. Curtis isn't about to go against the wishes of the camp director, even if he would rather play Don't Step on My S'more. As much as he hates to admit it, the camp director is right about bunks are for skunks. The parents love the new song, and it becomes an instant campground classic. At the end of the showcase, the camp director approaches Curtis and thanks him for singing the new song. She also tells Curtis that she has some contacts in the industry looking for individuals with sound judgment. Of course I get promoted. Of course I get promoted on the day I was going to get promoted. Carla, please. I need some help. This, this entire thing sucks. I got promoted. Oh, never mind. <laughs> You're not really doing what I need you to uh, do for this. Um, this uh, challenge. Ugh, that's 840. That's a little rough, but I guess we'll need to make do. We'll just throw that door there. Uh, that's gonna get deleted. Um, throw that there. And then let's see, we will go and buy seating bed the cheapest double bed money can buy. Man, we moving up in the world. Now let's see, we'll delete the mini fridge. We'll move the phone over here. Sink can stay. Um, we'll get one counter. And we'll see how close we are 
to a real fridge, and I think, yeah, 450? 400. A real stove. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Oh, we're doing so well. Ah, <sighs> great. Uh, right, we gotta do our auto roof, because we don't want people bird watching inside. That means, Michelle, would you like to come on over and uh, celebrate this promotion with me? Complete. Mm, darn it! You might miss your chance. We have plenty of other girls who might like us. Like Lily. We could invite Lily over. I mean, if, if Lily's actually there, I'm not concerned with doing things out of order. Because we don't really have an order. Sounds great. Okay, you need charisma. Why don't you go practice your speech while you're waiting for her? Might as well get a couple of points there. Now go greet her. Ah, yeah. The European greeting of choice right there. And then why don't you just go just slap a tender kiss right on her face. She'll never see it coming. Do you still- oh no, you want to be best friends with Lindsay, right? Not Lily. It's a shame, because you can be best friends with her. Look at that. You are. And now just straight up go make out with her. That's how- that's how progression works in The Sims. <laughs> you just- you, you- you- you talk to someone, you wait three days, you kiss them, and then you make out with them. It's perfect. Talking with Lindsay now, I see. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, why don't you two, you know, stay a little bit closer together? Because you guys uh, can definitely be the first ones married if you want. But, Lily, I have to tell you, if you don't give us pretty babies, you are out of here. Okay? You realize that, right? Um, leap into her arms. Uh, suck her face. Oh, good. We've got one person in love now. She's in love now, too. Give her a little smooch. And then, um... You know, we really can't do anything. So, oh, God. The, these cutscenes, though. Oh, that's horrifying. Oh, my gosh. I can't. I can't even. He must have a really good personality, which considering the fact that he's a romance sim who's just going to be uh, marrying and getting rid of people, I can't really say that he does. But, uh, there's got to be something to get past this now. Mm, that is just, that is just deformed. That's all there is to it. That is just, that is inhuman. Okay, so, um, how do I do this? It's family funds, homely, 165? Yeah, got it. Uh, because I don't think we're allowed to have anyone move in with money and if we are tough uh we're gonna be doing it the hard way then oh he's like oh no how did i end up married this isn't what i wanted oh you want to kiss him that's cute what do you really want to do with your life max out seven skills oh honey that's not gonna happen oh no why don't you guys go kiss each other a little bit you know we'll give you we'll give you that little desire that you want but now, you know, just go and just go and do a little, do a little try for, oh, this I don't want to see. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> no, thank you. Oh, man, I can't wait to see what these children look like. I, they're going to be, they're going to be interesting. That's all you can really say. Hey, we've got a baby coming. That's exactly... Oh, isn't that cute? You don't want to have a baby. That's sweet. You don't work, though. That is going to be a slight problem. I was banking on having a little bit more money when the baby came. Now, granted, we will have, like, a couple more dollars, but we can't really get her a job. Um... Because it's just, it, it won't work out too well. She will go on maternity leave right after. So if we're lucky, she'd get us like $100. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, she has a job. She's a dishwasher. 
and she missed work. Cool. Things are working really well for her. <laughs> um, do you need creativity? No, you don't need creativity. So what that means is we're just going to scrap this painting and Lily, yeah, yeah, you got the idea right off the bat. Why are you making food? We have food. There was food in the fridge. You could have had leftovers, you know. You really got to get in on that leftover thing. Uh, just go, just go get some leftovers, okay? Just please. Okay, you did not need to pull the entire thing out. I wonder if there's a mod to make leftovers just slightly better so they're not as annoying. Okay, was it just, yeah, you just needed the one charisma point, so I got you a little bit more than you needed. Why don't you go study mechanical? Uh, and just, you know, get going as much as you can. Lily, we're not doing this to max out your skills. I know maybe you think that, but we're not. Okay, because I don't care. You're just kind of going to need to deal. Uh, no, I don't want that magazine. That sounds awful, okay? Um, we will let you get a couple leftovers. Okay, excuse me, sir. Sir, we were going to eat food, and then you got in our way, all right? Okay, go to bed now. Uh, you also should probably go to bed, because technically you would need to be up at 2 p.m. for your job. So I want you to kind of look like maybe, just maybe, you can be trusted to be up at 2 p.m. for your job. Her comfort's not going up at all. Wow. That's pretty brutal. Okay, yeah, you have the day off, I know. Oh, gosh. Okay, Lily, go get some leftovers, please. I know you're really hungry. I know your comfort skyrocketed. So that's cool. Uh, go to work. We definitely would like would like you to make some money. And you can't die when you're at work, because they'll feed you. And uh, everything will be fantastic. That's really all that matters, right? Um, hopefully everything will work out a little bit better. You want to be friends with April. Oh, I can't lock a fear and a want? That's lame. You're pretty far away from being friends with April. But I'll let you try. Okay, you know, might as well, because we're going to need some family friends. Oh, we do, because uh, we moved in. Uh, we moved in Lily, so she no longer counts as a family friend. That's slightly annoying, but what are you going to do? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to call Callista. We're going to talk to Callista, all right? Why don't you just chit chat with me a little bit? You cannot make friends with her. Good golly gosh. I guess we can just invite her over. Because apparently you're never going to make friends with her this way. That's Rodney. I don't care about Rodney. Callista! Hello! Hopefully everything's treating you well. Hey, can we hit on you a little bit? You know. Nope. That's a darn shame. How about a dirty joke? I know you like those. Maybe we'll just charm you a little bit. Just gossip. I just want to be friends, okay? We got to be friends. Let's just give you a romantic... Nope. Okay, did you hear the news that I got married? Because whoever told you that was a lie. Okay, we're not married. We're just as single as we ever were. So, can I hit on you? Please? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay, Um. now quickly before... <laughs> hey, funny story. Uh, I lied. Before my wife gets home... How about you, uh, get out of here, okay? I think she comes home at 10. Yeah, I mean, you know. You, yeah, you can leave an hour before. That's totally fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, you're going to get food, I guess? Okay, yeah, I guess you just don't know what leftovers are, do you? It would be really nice if you would just figure that out. Uh, why don't you just read the book? Get some fun up, okay? Oh, and Lily's pregnant. Great, everything we needed. We got 126 more dollars, so it will do. Um, hopefully when he goes to work tomorrow we can buy maybe a bed that'll actually give you comfort, or maybe we can just buy like a couch or something. I don't know why her comfort, maybe it was just a glitch. Maybe she was gaining comfort and it just didn't look like it, because it certainly seems like that now. But we are, ooh, we are pretty close to a promotion, we just need that mechanical skill point. 
And hopefully, uh, today, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna torment him. He doesn't want to have a baby? That's too bad. Because this is what happens when you go and woohoo with someone. You gotta take responsibility for what happens, okay? Now, I'm gonna try and get through this next day. Uh, hopefully we can get a promotion and then uh, we can start with renovations uh, tomorrow. Okay, cool. It's four dollars. Great. That's almost as much as you made from your dishwashing job. Please continue reading the mechanical book. I would really like you to get that skill as high as possible. We're just gonna leave the phone. We don't care about who's calling right now. Okay. Just, ah, perfect. Okay, go get leftovers. Leftovers will fill you up a lot more than uh, any of that other stuff ever would. Just have another bowl. It'll be great. Go use the restroom. Uh, go use the restroom. Gotta just, I gotta try and push it. Just, it's not gonna be enough. But I had to push it just as far as I could, just to be sure. I want you to wake up and have another bowl because I feel like we're almost out of this food. Yeah, perfect. I didn't want it to go bad and she was hungry. So it was really just absolutely worth our time. Girl, we're fine, Kendra. Also, I still think you might be a teenager. In fact, I'm like 100% certain that you might be a teenager. So maybe I made the mistake of talking with you. Okay, just throwing that out there. How old is she? She's like right at the start of her adult career. Okay, that's fine. Baby bump number two. Oh boy, it's moving fast right now and no promotion for you, right? Never mind. That's awesome. He's been promoted to roadie. As good as the band is, they wouldn't be anywhere without a dedicated group of roadies. Practice your creativity a bit more and that can be you on stage. Sweet. Okay. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here. We've got some skilling, we've got some upgrading the house to do, and we've got a baby to it, to just be ready to welcome. Ah, oh, it'll be so great. And hopefully it won't be the most disgusting thing in the world, but it might be. I'm supposed to remind you to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Until next time on The Sims 2, the homely prettisee. Goodbye.